a super capacitor also called an ultra capacitor is a high capacity capacitor it bridges a gap between electrolytic capacitors and rechargeable batteries it typically stores 10 to 100 times more energy per unit volume or mass than electrolytic capacitors can accept and deliver charge much faster than batteries and tolerates many more charge and discharge cycles than rechargeable batteries in addition super capacitors are environmentally friendly on the basis of their charge storage mechanism super capacitors are classified into three types edlcs electric double layer capacitors pseudo capacitors hybrid capacitors edlc electric double layer capacitor EDLCs can store charges through static electricity or non-paradic processes which do not involve charge transfer between the electrodes and electrolytes. Electrostatic storage of the electrical energy is achieved by the separation of charge in Helmholtz double layer at the interface between the surface of a conductor electrode and an electrolyte. Therefore, The EDLC storage mechanism allows for rapid energy absorption and transmission and improves power performance. Also, EDLCs have the ability for withstanding millions of cycles. The electrode materials used for EDLCs include activated carbon, carbon aerogel, carbide derived carbon, graphene and carbon nanotubes. Pseudo capacitors Pseudo capacitors store electrical energy faradically by electron charge transfer. between electrode and electrolyte this is accomplished through electrosorption reduction oxidation reactions redox reactions and intercalation processes termed pseudo capacitance pseudo capacitance can be generated on the electrode surface and inside the entire electrode thus higher capacitances and a higher energy density can be obtained compared with edlcs but the cycle life of pseudo capacitors is poor Pseudo capacitors use metal oxide or conducting polymer electrodes with a high electrochemical pseudo capacitance. Hybrid capacitors, hybrid capacitor combines different energy storage mechanisms in order to utilize their individual advantages as well as to overcome their individual limitations. There are three types of hybrid super capacitors depending on the electrode specifications: composite, asymmetric, and battery type hybrid capacitors. Composite hybrid capacitors combine the characteristics of carbon and metal oxides in a single electrode indicating that the single electrode is going to have two mechanisms for storage chemical and physical Asymmetric hybrid capacitors are combining the faradic and non faradic processes by coupling a pseudo capacitor electrode with edlcs battery type a combination of a battery electrode and a super capacitor electrode combining the super capacitor recharging times and battery properties here is a summary of types of super capacitors super capacitors are classified into three types double layer capacitors charge storage electrostatically in helmholtz layer pseudo capacitors charge storage electrochemically faradic charge transfer and hybrid capacitors charge storage electrostatically and electrochemically the double layer capacitors use different electrode materials activated carbon carbon aerogels graphene carbon nanotubes carbide derived carbon pseudo capacitors use conducting polymers metal oxides hybrid capacitors are classified into three types composite they combine carbon and metal oxides in single electrode asymmetric combine pseudo capacitor and edlc in battery type combination of battery electrode and super capacitor electrode is used that's it for today's video thank you for watching if you like the video do like share and subscribe to always also press bell icon to get notified